Hello everybody and welcome to Board Game Inquisition, where we are fans of board games both new and old. Today we're going to be unboxing the mammoth that is Periodician's Mouth, Abyssal Rift, and this is from Dragon Dawn Productions. Um, now, I don't know if you can tell from here how heavy a board game is, but this is the biggest board game in my collection bar Gloomhaven. I can in fact barely get it out of the package. Um, so thank you to Dragon Dawn Productions for sending me this review copy. Um, it was very, very kind, but look, I got it like Jesus. <laughs> it's huge. Um, so this is gonna be a mammoth unboxing. Um, you know, get yourself a cup of tea or something as we go and dig into what's in this ginormous box. Um, so from what I can tell anyway, as it says, it's a cooperative dark fantasy adventure. So this is a, a dungeon crawler. Um, even from the art on the cover, it looks like it's going to be kind of gory or definitely gritty. You know, it's going for that kind of vibe, isn't it? This isn't all pretty D&D characters. These, I don't know, these look far more interesting. Um, I'd like to point out that this version is the deluxe version. So I don't know what that means, but it did come with this attached to it when I open it up, which seems to be some kind of expansion, but it's also signed by the game's people. It's got a number as well. So I'm feeling incredibly special today. Um, I think that's such a nice touch um, for when you get something that's deluxe. Um, obviously this seems to be for some sort of expansion. It's got like a new hero miniature and stuff like that, and a new map and a scenario from Isaac Childers, which is always cool. So that was a nice surprise to find attached to the front of it. Now, I've done enough talking, I really want to get to what's inside it, but I'll very quickly flip it over. This might take a lot of strength. Ooh, heave. Here we go. Just so we have an idea what to expect inside it. So, okay, so there's obviously maps, there's little roundels, um, there's cards and player things. Um, oh look, it's someone quoting about the roundel, that's good. It's for one to six players. Which is ridiculous in this day and age of games that only go up to four players. It's kind of amazing. It takes one to two hours apparently. Horror themes, so age 12 plus, which is fine. And it lists all the components here. There are, there are miniatures. Um, that's amazing. I don't, I don't really have many miniature games. I never get into those. I love roundels. Um, Double-sided maps. 40, uh, this, so yeah, this is the deluxe edition, including the Witch's Grotto and a lot of other extras. Enjoy. So... Like I said, what a great way to start the day, right? To have something like this turn up at your door. It's beautiful and it's huge. Oh my gosh. All right, let's see what's actually inside it, shall we? Now, it's so big, I won't be able to keep the lid next to it. I can barely fit it on my camera screen, as you can see. So hopefully, oh, jeez. Look at it go. Uh, <laughs> like the box is like three inches deep. Just, you know, you get an idea from the side there, just how big it is. So put that over there for safekeeping. Okay, so first thing inside, is, I think this looks like the rule book. Wow, this is heavy. Yeah, it's definitely the rule book. Woo, wait, wait to that. Um, It's made in that kind of shiny paper. You can see from my light, it's just kind of shining there. I'll try and keep everything on the screen because it's just, there's a lot of it. Um, we'll have a quick glance through this. I won't have much time to go through all the books and things because there's so many things in here. So let's have all the components. Oh, look, there's all the different type of miniatures. Wow, they look cool. Um. So, table of contents, love that in your rulebook. Notes on using this rulebook. Ah, well, this is not an easy feat. Also, oh, they're like, oh, they want feedback for their rulebook. That's amazing. Um, that's cool. Um, and so the, it looks like there's going to be scenarios to play in this. And we're going to learn how everything moves and stuff. Um, this is really nicely laid out. I love the things on the edge as reminders. Um, the font is nice. This is easy to read. I like the way it's numbered. This looks very approachable, doesn't it? So we're gonna go as fast as we can. So there's different types of decks, adjacent squares, moon cards, um, occasional pictures, always good. The round, important reminders, enemy face. So yeah, like this, look, 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 look at this. The stone of destiny, that sounds great. Um, hero movement, okay. There's the good use of symbols here too. So we'll see how they look um, when we get to the cards, different types of terrain. Let's see, so we're gonna keep flicking hero attacks. So there's a lot, but there always is with the dungeon crawler, isn't there? Because you're not only dealing with your stuff, but your enemy stuff and all these kinds of things, enemy attack, attack priorities, seem to be covering all the important bits. More pictures of the miniatures. I'm dying to see those. Jeez, this is quite a hefty rulebook, but it doesn't look weighty to read. So I think that's a pretty special thing all in itself. You can see how, yeah, can you even see half the rulebook? It's so, it's so white. Um, it's common six to avoid. Journey is for designer's mind. Oh wow, so they talk a little bit about designing the game. That's cool. There's the credits. 
Oh, here we go. Enemies. This looks like um, the back of a, a Warhammer rulebook where they have pictures of all the other models you can have in your army. And then successful Kickstarters. Oh, wow, look, these are all the people who backed it. That's fantastic, isn't it? Look at that, everyone got mentioned. And yes, my favorite thing, the back of the rule book has lots of helpful information, which is really, really good. And as it says, problem with rules, find more info here or send us feedback. That's wonderful. You can't know everything in one go. Definitely not. And I think that that's nice to accept that maybe there could be improvement. Okay. Next, where do we even start with this? Okay, I'm gonna look at the scenario sheets because they come in their own box. Ooh. I'd say the art's quite interesting, isn't it? It's definitely very gory. So, oh, on the back of it, 20 scenarios at the edge of survival. Okay. So what is in the box? I hope I can put it back in the box. So inside we get, ooh. Okay, so we have gotten ourselves um, a save sheet. That's good, so you can take breaks. I like those, okay. These feel amazing. Don't know what they're made of, but they're lovely. Um, they're kind of like the Terraforming Mars player boards. You know, that kind of thin paper, but still feels really good quality. So obviously here's more characters we can play. Then what's the stuff that's back? More characters as well. This looks like the bonus character that's on the this, that you get in the deluxe edition, this one. But here's the other ones. So they seem to have special abilities and space for more cards around them. That's cool. Okay, next off. So if you see, can we find any? Ooh, I kind of wish I knew how this worked. But um, obviously, obviously they have different, the, this is how the monsters are, monsters work, so that's insectoids, cultists, so they have their own boards. Um, rescue of Rampage, special, there's a goal of this scenario, the reserve, is, okay, so, some, so obviously these are to do with setting up your scenarios and stuff. Yeah, Rescue Rampage, oh yeah, and it, it describes it for you exactly what you're doing. And then what it is you have to do, the setup, the spawn, second spawn, reserve, okay, that's cool. So there seems to be a good, um, like, number of these in here. There's harder, standard, oh, tutorial was it? Standard tutorial, yeah. So there's a there's a lot of stuff to do in here. This will not be something you know you play a couple of times and you're finished with it. This is definitely something I think that's more long term than that. Okay, so let's see. I'll put this over back in the box. I always think it's an important question to ask yourself when you're going through your new game. It's like, can I put all the pieces back in the box the way I found it, or is my box going to explode? Okay, so next step. Miniatures! I can't help but help. Well, I have to have a look. These guys look creepy. Let's see what we have inside. Okay, this one looks cool. Look at that. They're very well made. They're lovely and sturdy as well. They're not that cheapy kind of plastic, isn't another guy? They are very creepy. Even their bases are actually um, designed as well. So if you did paint them, they would come up really nicely. They have stones underneath them. So we've got some sort of insectoid stuff in that one. What's in the other bag? Ooh. Oh, that's just cool. It's some kind of demon. Yeah, the models are really, really nice. I like these a lot. They also look like they would paint it pretty well. So all of these ones seem to be, yeah, they're all the same, whatever they are. Deem I'm calling them demons. I don't know any better till I've read the rulebook, sadly. Okay, now down the side here we have we have some individual models. That one's just really creepy, and it's got a little guy, a little thing with it, or I don't know. It's got extras with it. Cool. What else is in here? Oh, another monster. Maybe they were supposed to be on top and slid down. I don't know. This monster has like shields in the bag. It must be for somebody else. So there's more bags. Keep digging. Oh, okay. So these look like heroes. And there's shields in there, so I assume the shields are something. Let's have a look at the humanoids. <laughs> in case they are in fact not the heroes, but they look like they ought to be. Does the shield go on the person? So as you can see here, we have a nice little person. And we have all these shields. Is it attached to it? Nope. Maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it kind of does. You can see there's some of these big shields in the bags here. 
Maybe they're just markers. But yet again, these models are really, really nice. A couple of different types. She's bad, rather badass looking. Look, you can have badass women with their clothes on. Who knew? Okay, so more minis. I really should speak myself up here, should Because this is taking forever. Okay, so then we have 40 million cards by the looks of it. All sorts of cards for all sorts of things. So what I'll do is I'll open up um, some of the cards just so we get an idea of the quality of the cards, but I'll list them what the others are. So you guys don't get bored. Ah, uh, I really need to get a better scissors for this, don't I? I say this every time. Do, do, do. So now, so has anybody played this game before? If you have, um, leave some comments below. I, I'd love to hear from you. Give me some advice, perhaps, or your insights. All of this, of course, while I'm trying to open these. I have the worst look with these. I really wish that somebody or everybody would just use that little tab pulling thing. This is not happening. Let's see, can we find a better one to open? Maybe one of the bigger ones. Okay, so we'll try a bigger one. So obviously there's gonna be plenty of cards here. It looks like we're, we are, like, yeah. what we give our characters is all in card form and stuff like that, which is fine. Oh my God, these are so well wrapped. Come on, you could do it. I'm gonna cut myself open in the process. I get you really wanna wrap your games very well, but I'll have to speed this up on camera. So you guys don't have to watch this crack. Oh, here we go. Finally something good. There we go. Yeah. Also, I have no idea how I'd put these cards away <laughs> after I take them all out of the plastic. So, first things first. Oh, they're very nice cardstock. Um, they're not linen finished, but they're very durable and wearable. They've got the shine on them, as you can see, because they're kind of they're well laminated. Not quite, but you know, plastic in the front. So, what kind of cards we got here? It just has the game's name on the back, so they must be for characters because it's kind of fire. It's got a whole bunch of symbols. Uh, numbers and they've got a nice quote. Fire is the most beautiful creation yet the deadliest of my repertoire. Ooh. They all have numbers so these are all for if your attack deals damage return this card to your hand. Sharp point useful but sadly not very stylish. An elvish dagger. Okay cool. These actually look really cool. There's some very interesting ones in here. A vasectomy minus three points. <laughs> Fair enough. I suppose, you know, wow, here's all the terrible things that can happen to you. Snap knees, crush knees, dental injury. I would, this reminds me very much of a hackmaster, the role play game. Where they have an entire chart to tell you the way you were injured. Very cool. So yeah, the card quality is really, really nice. So obviously these looks like equipment. That's the one I was trying to open. So equipment, what else we got? So hallucinations, minus two. So this looks like more of those type of cards, with the, but they're negative ones. Oh, we got little cards too. We'll keep digging down here and see what we keep finding. We keep finding bags with very small things in them, like... So obviously there's something I have to assemble with a wheel, I'm guessing, for those little pop things to go into it. We got small decks. We've got the following symbols on the back, and they are plus three, plus one. These look like they're for monsters. So we put those back in there, okay. Let's keep seeing what we find. The story continues, Paradise Met Soul Fire. So more of the same kind of cards. Whoops. More tiny cards. Yeah, they're more, well, I'm guessing are for the monsters. It just says plus three on it. Yeah. That was probably the same one. Anyway, so then more. Well, there's a lot of cards, isn't it? Um, so enlightenment. More of these kind of ability things that look like they go with your character. And then we got last thing down here. We have some coloured beads. Two coloured beads. But one just isn't enough. Okay, so I'm gonna put these back in here, specifically the one that I've already opened, because I wonder how I'm supposed to put this away later. Will the cards just stand up neatly in here, do you think? Okay, because under this we get ooh. We get some foam. Fair enough. Okay, that's cool. So these are the wheels, obviously, or this is the one I have to put the black thing in to make it so what to say. So it looks like it's random what actions you get to do. Are you moving on the wheel? Move, attack, move, attack, move, attack, and then two spawns. This is beautiful. What's on this wheel? So this wheel has more holes at the end of it. So there's sprint, attack, special, move, defend, 
Bash, Aim Shot, Defend. Very, very cool. I like this round down thing. I'm looking forward to seeing how it works. We have some stickers. Woohoo! This one here is obviously the center for this one here. Okay, I like the circle thing. Big fan of round elves. Ooh, okay. This looks like the board. Oh, there's multiple boards. Interesting. You don't normally get multiple boards with a game, do you? So. Entrance. I haven't mentioned yet that the cardboard quality is really, really nice, by the way. This is very white, but you can see it around the edge. So there's an entrance. They've got some things marked in the board itself. It's very bloody looking. It's definitely kind of a gorier game. Um, I like that's interesting. And everything is numbered down the side, if you can see. And then it's lettered down the bottom. And it's got some cool things. So um, yeah, that's interesting. I, it's not the only board. For some reason, I thought we were just going to be playing on one of these kind of grids and then we would add things. But no, it's already built on the board. Now, has it got anything in the back? Ha ha! We're in for a treat today, folks. This is amazing. Look at the variation. So this is number two, the rubble room. This is definitely much bigger. This looks very, very cool. I like all the markings and stuff like that on it. It's definitely gory, but this is interesting. So there's ways to go down. There's a body over there. Awesome. Okay, so let's see what's next. Here comes number three. Oh my god, look at the number of boards you get. This is a crazy. Okay, so I'm gonna look at number three. These are lovely thick boards, by the way. I need a bit of setting a, a game on for a while. The pet laboratory. Dun, dun, dun. You can see where there's probably been some sort of spider. That to me looks like webbing. So spiders layer somewhere on here. The table and things. Yet again, more really. Gorgeousness. Is there one on the other side? Oh, this one's even nicer. Okay. Ooh, this one's very fancy. This is the summoner's lair. Welcome, number four. So this one has water in it, so this is new, and they have some sort of pipes and stuff like that. I wonder, can you interact with these parts of the board? I assume there'll be a way to do so. But um, these are very, very lovely. They're also very clear and easy to read. I think the white around the edges really helps, um, which is surprising, you know, to see a board that's white mostly white for a Gordian. Oh my god, there's like more. Okay, I'm not gonna go through all of these. I probably should though. Screw it, we'll go really really fast, right? So this is the small nest, just to show you all the boards because this is insane. Um, oh yeah, look, bad things. Um, and I'd love, yeah, I'd love to see some of these things have X's and symbols. I, would, I would have to find out how to interact with them. This is a small nest. And on the back of it then should be, if I am anyway fortunate, here we go. Ooh, sacrificial chamber. This one should have all the blood. And it does have quite a bit of blood and blood symbols. This is cool. So I wonder how your adventures interact with these different maps. That's very awesome. And then there's still one more. You definitely get a lot in here, don't you? Wow, there's more than one more. <laughs> so the guard chamber. Ooh, clink and clink. Um, I think you guys might have noticed with me that these rooms are getting bigger the further down I go in the numbers. It might be that, you know, the first one is for, you know, teaching you how to play and things like that. So guard chamber. Ooh, there's a, there's a dead guy in there. And some rocks. And then, ooh, the abyssal rift, which is the what the game is named after. So this one should be the coolest map and it is definitely the coolest map. Look at that, there's like a hellmouth and everything in the middle. It's beautiful. Wow, I just can't get over the amount um, you get in here, the amount of maps. This is, you know, not a game for the short haul. Now, I have a Witch's Grotto map, which comes in, I believe, the deluxe edition. So we'll have a look at it, because, you know, it's what I got. Oops. Oh, this is very different to all the other maps. It's all green around the edge, and there's a lot of water in it. Cool. This one's interesting. It's obviously kind of outdoorsy. Still a lot of blood. They haven't given up on the blood yet. Okay, and then if I flip it again. Oh, cool. So this side had like a little dock in the water. Um, a whole area with bones. Yeah. So this is, an, this is a really nice addition to be able to get that extra. What's in the very, very bottom? We made it all the way down. Tokens. Oh. Oh, oh my god, heavy. So, does this have to come up? Because I don't want to take any of these things out so I can get back in. Oh, it's all the way under it. So, yeah, these are tokens. 
I'm gonna pop one out so we get a feel for what it's like. They feel very bendy despite being made of cardboard. They're nice, they're that kind of waxy cardboard thing. I'm, I'm afraid of how to put this back afterwards. Okay, so now what's left? Lots and lots of miniatures. Like, bag of miniatures. <laughs> Let's see what any of these ones are like. Have we anything cool in here? All sorts of things. It seems like there's lots of unique monsters. Well, although two of those are the same. It's true. But there's finally we have a cultist. Let's give you a little splattering of them all in my hand there. You can kind of see. So we've like hell mouths and, and little spiky things. All sorts of stuff. They're really, yeah, I like the miniatures a lot. They're very good quality. They're quite, they're on the smaller side too. So they're not going to be hulking all over the board. Okay, put you back in there because you're keeping that wall held up for me. I think, uh, <laughs> oh wow, there's a big monster hiding in here. That makes sense. That is just badass. Ooh. To be fair, I've been looking for like a really good kind of horror game to play. It's, I think it's the one thing I don't really have much of in my collection. Um, at the moment. So it's, this is really very, very cool. I wonder how creepy it's going to be or will it be just be more, you know, hack and slash. And then we got more guys with curly tails. So we'll have one look at those. Mm -hmm. Can you see him? He's hard to see. But yeah, more of these. They're very, very cool. Now, so I think we're most of the way. I think that's pretty much everything now we've gotten through that's in the box. It's a very big box as you can see. The big quest of course now will be to try and get everything back inside it. And get the lid back on. Thank god it's a tall box. So there's this room for extras. Okay, so now, here we go. Boards. I can't get over the number of boards. Have you guys ever seen a game with this many player, with this many boards to play on? Because oh, I haven't. Like, I understand Gloomhaven allows you to assemble your boards together, but for something that's already kind of ready to go. There we go. And then my beautiful round delts. Look forward to assembling you guys later. So then I think this went on top. I hope this went on top. Kind of. Yeah, most of the way there. Totally meant it. I forgot to put the foam back in. We'll live with it foam. Now, some of you guys were up here. Some of you guys weren't. I think the smaller ones were down this side here. Let's see if I can fit them on top happily. An entire bag of humans. I don't think this would need a storage solution despite it being a very big game just because of the size of the box. It's kind of very forgiving, isn't it? Da, 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 da. Never get the lid all the way back on. <laughs> and there you have it, folks. Woo! I'm very proud of myself for fitting that back in. So, you've been watching Board Game Inquisition and um, that was Paradition's Mouth, Abyssal Rift. Wow, what a game. I can't wait to get my paws on it and try it out. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, think about doing something nice like maybe subscribing to the channel or tell a friend I exist and that would be great. Until next time, hopefully I'll meet you for another unboxing video. And until then, take care and have a good day. Bye bye.